Monster Mash is a new sketch-based framework designed for casual 3D animation. The user sketches a character, our system automatically inflates it into a smooth, deformable 3D model, which the user can immediately animate simply by grabbing it and moving it around. All of this interaction happens from a single viewpoint. No modeling, rigging, or 3D manipulation is required. This is particularly helpful for novice users who may encounter more difficulties working in a 3D environment. Here are all of the strokes in a sketch of an elephant. As the user draws each stroke, they can specify whether the new stroke should connect in front of the previously drawn parts, behind them, or symmetrically on both sides. The system automatically closes any open strokes and records the partial ordering information. These partial orders are then used to compute a total ordering, indicated here by the brightness of each part. The green line is computed automatically as the closure of the stroke defining the leg A, and is the place where the mesh for A is stitched into the body B. The yellow and cyan curves indicate where ordering constraints will be maintained. The yellow curves are where the boundary points on A are constrained to lie in front of interior points in B. Likewise, the cyan curve is where boundary points of B are constrained to lie behind interior points of A. When the body parts are animated, these curves may change dynamically each frame. Here's what the mesh looks like after inflation without ordering constraints. All the parts are smoothly stitched together, but since everything is in the same plane, it doesn't look much like an elephant. The ordering constraints prevent the front-facing surfaces from intersecting, ensuring that the 3D shape matches the user's intent. Since the shape is created using our joint framework, the user can deform it using direct manipulation while maintaining the constraints, and all of this can be done in real time. As long as each part's closing segment lies entirely within the underlying shape, there is no limit to the number of parts that can be added. Unlike previous methods which inflate the sketch first and then deform the resulting mesh, we combine aspects of the sketch inflation with elastic deformation in a joint optimization process. If a standard elastic deformation method is applied as a separate step after 3D inflation and modeling, then impressions left by limbs in the original inflation will be preserved under deformation, producing unwanted artifacts. In our joint optimization process, the model adapts smoothly to each new pose. Our joint optimization process also enforces the ordering constraints, minimizing unnatural collisions and intersections between parts. Here are some comparisons to other sketch-based modeling techniques. Our method produces smoother, more appealing shapes than other previous work, gives more user control than neural reconstructions, and results in fully connected 3D models, not just bas-relief. Sketch-based rigging methods like RigMesh require many extra steps of interaction and 3D manipulation to produce a rigged 3D mesh. Our method accomplishes similar results in much less time. Here's an example of a human walk cycle being created with our system. To model, rig, and animate a character of this complexity in a traditional 3D animation package would take several days of work. After only a few hours of practicing using Monster Mash, one experienced 3D animator was able to create and animate this character from scratch in just a few minutes. The user animates the figure by selecting a control point and moving it around in a looping cycle. Additional points can be animated by layering their motion on top of existing animation while it plays back in real time. Note that this entire walk cycle was animated using only six control points. To achieve the same complexity of movement in a traditional 3D character rig would require many more controls. The instant real-time feedback allows for lots of low-risk trial and error. Because it takes so little effort to try out, discard, and revisit different ideas, the tool enables more creative exploration. In other words, it's fun. To keep the interface as responsive as possible, we allow the deformation model to converge over multiple frames. This lets the user directly perceive the convergence in process, giving the character a soft, flexible feeling with automatic overlapping action. This makes the system's behavior highly discoverable. The user can figure out the dynamic properties of the character by wiggling parts around and seeing how it behaves, just as you would with a physical puppet in real life. Coordinating multiple control points takes a good sense of timing. To get into the rhythm, the user can switch on the metronome. Although our framework was primarily developed for a single viewpoint workflow, the underlying deformation model does allow for out-of-plane rotations, thus it is also possible to animate control points in 3D. 
here are a few more examples of animations created using this system.